It's my feel good breakfast show. Next up, we move on to design. Now, imagine a future where a printer can print a pancake, children can design their own buildings, and fast food restaurants support local crafters. Well, imagine no further because some of these existing innovations, along with a host of other designs addressing everyday challenges, will be showcased from today at this year's Open Design Festival. And we are joined by festival director Sunay Stassen and uh, uh, also festival speaker Sikhle Chabalala, who will be uh, sharing with us why you need to be part of the action this year. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Sunay, yeah, lovely, yeah, lovely to have you, Sikhle. First of all, I'm going to ask you about these things. I love technology, all right? But let's talk about the, the theme this year, Design for Tomorrow. Um, what's the idea behind the festival this year? So the idea behind the festival with Design for Tomorrow is really looking at and, and putting an emphasis on the fact that if we design, we need to be very specific about the materials we choose, design thinking integration in terms of our design process, because everything we design needs to have a sustainable result at the end of the day. And there's very specific ways of, specifically when you start integrating design thinking and you start involving your user from the very start of your design process, that is actually the most key of the design process. Mm. Um, we want the people that we are designing for to take ownership and to feel um, proud of, of the environments that we're designing and the things that they are involved in in designing that we are designing for them. So the whole Design for Tomorrow theme is also positioning um, open design also as part of a much bigger picture, picture in terms yeah. of the design process. We started looking at, um, you know, if we look at the need for socioeconomic development in South Africa, building human capital, and if you bring it further down, looking at how can we develop a future workforce yeah. that's better equipped um, to be more efficient and more productive across various different sectors. Mm. So, sure. so design, the, the, the open design festival itself is now also becoming part of that entire much bigger picture in terms yeah. of the design process. Um, and it's, it's really looking at, you know, how can we use design to impact and add value to various different sectors like the healthcare, transport, uh, yeah. communication and, and how we can make the right choices that has a sustainable result. Well, there's definitely a lot that people can expect from the festival this year. You brought some examples. Quickly run us through because this is the kind of idea behind the theme that we are talking Absolutely. about Absolutely. So we like to focus on, on design that impacts on basic human needs. Yeah. So we're not about all the flashy, glossy things about design. So if we look at the fetal heart rate monitor, this is something that we can be extremely proud of. It's like winning the World Cup, you know? <laughs> Um, because this little bugger has won us, as from Africa, the very first index award. Um, it's, a, it's the biggest design award in the world. And what is amazing about this, first of all, it's probably um, appropriate to say that when it comes to designing tools and equipment for the medical field, uh, most of the equipment, you know, are designed for 99% of, of the first world countries. So you can imagine in, with regards to to under-resourced communities, what a great need there is. Um, and every year yeah, there's so a, there, there used to be a million babies that used to die yeah. because of a lack of, of being able to monitor their, yeah. the fetus heart rate. That is brilliant. I mean, I think it's so cool. Such a, such a unique, interesting product, but highly technological, easy to use and easy to distribute as well. Sixthly, I want to talk quickly about your involvement in the festival as well. I mean, you've got a very interesting story. You've got a passion for the youth, your organization, Brothers for All. What will, what will you bring to the festival this year? Um, various components in terms of, um, as I said, I'm in a business of selling hope. Um, so is to inspire people to start dreaming different, uh, different dreams, especially now um, the youth of South Africa when it comes to addressing social problems or social challenges from high unemployment rate to teenage pregnancies to gangs to crime. Um, so all, all bringing all those components and um, sharing or telling them that he, there is a better life actually. Mm. But you can only have that now if you take the chance um, towards that change. All right. Well, we are looking forward to finding a little bit more about the festival this year. We are, we'll be talking about it uh, throughout the remainder of the show as well. So make sure you can get down there. It takes place over the next couple of days as well. It's uh, going to be at the V&A Waterfront and also at the City Hall. Most of the, some of the events are ticketed, but most of them are free. So make sure that you do get down there and experience the best that the Open Design Festival has to offer this year. Stick around with us. We'll be back after the ad break.